Big news has now arrived on Gunners, you want to know all the details so follow me until the end of the video. But first if you are in love with Arsenal show your love and subscribe to THE channel now and turn on notifications. Here we post daily news and behind the scenes of the biggest club in THE Premier League Arsenal. Thank you. Mikel Arteta's headache in Arsenal's selection against Bournemouth that could determine Zinchenko's future. Arsenal's manager, Mikel Arteta, faces a major decision regarding the left-back position for the Gunners' clash with Bournemouth, which could be a crucial game in the title race. With Jury and Timber nearing full fitness, Mikel Arteta may have a fully fit squad to choose from against Bournemouth on Sunday. The Spaniard couldn't be happier. Yes, the availability we mentioned earlier was something crucial, he said before last weekend's victory in the North London Derby against Tottenham. It's a big boost that raises the intensity in training, competition among the players, and the alternatives to choose the right lineup to change the game. It will be something very important. As happy as Arteta is, there's a downside to having the entire team available as well. He will have to leave one of his players very unhappy. Nowhere is this more true than at left-back, where Arteta has three genuine options to start against Bournemouth this weekend. Of course, Timber could play there, but it's too early for him to be involved in games from the start. Instead, it all comes down to Jakub Kiwier, Oleksandr Zinchenko, and Takahiro Tomiyasu. At one stage or another, all three have been Arsenal's first choice in the position, but their interchangeability shows how fierce the battle for a left-back spot still is. Read more, inside Thomas Partey's injury recovery as Arsenal midfielder aims for Premier League success. Zinchenko, in turn, is more of a playmaker. The Ukrainian slots into midfield and has the ability to split any defense in world football with his passing range. At the same time, though, he can be a defensive liability and offer chances to opponents. Somewhere in between the two is Tomiyasu. The Japanese international is by no means a line-breaker, but he's technically proficient and is seen by Arteta as the club's best one-on-one -on -one defender. Tomiyasu has been Arteta's preferred man in recent matches against Chelsea, Tottenham, and Bayern Munich. You would imagine he will get the nod against Bournemouth this weekend, provided he can avoid injuries. It's worth noting that in Timber's limited outings for the U21s in recent weeks, he has been used as a left-back instead of his preferred right-back position. Now, the relative lack of options for Mehmet Ali's team in this position might be a reason for this, but it could also indicate where Arteta intends to utilize the Dutchman. Neither Tomiyasu, Zinchenko, nor Kiwier has really been able to nail down that starting spot. With Timber's return imminent, Saturday's match against Bournemouth might be the best, and possibly the last, chance to do so. Every word Mikel Arteta said about Jurian Timber, Gabriel Jesus' transfer to Arsenal, and Jorginho's contract. Mikel Arteta spoke to the press ahead of Arsenal's Premier League clash with Bournemouth, providing updates on Jurian Timber's fitness, Gabriel Jesus' future, and Jorginho's contract. What's the latest from the team for the weekend? Yes, everyone is fit and available, so now it's the headache of making the right selection. A good headache. Would you rather be top before Man City? It is what it is. We've been in many different scenarios this season. We're clear. We have to win our game, and then we have to wait, and the only thing we can focus on is that. How much would you like to keep Giorgino? I would love to keep him. He knows that. The club fully supports that. He's a very important player for us, on and off the field. He makes us better, so we want him to stay. Can you tell us about your success in set pieces? It's a culmination of many things. We work on many phases of the game and things that we believe can help us be more competitive and win some matches. Set pieces are something fundamental in football. How good has Rice been? He's been great, had a big impact from day one. It's not easy when you come from a club where you've been for a long time, but he's adapted very well. It's a great group. I think they've supported him a lot too. There are players who come in and immediately fit. I remember a conversation I had with him in the US in preseason, after 8 or 9 days, he said he felt like he'd been here for 2 years. That's a good sign. Will you be watching City vs Wolves? If I can, I'll watch it. I love watching big games, and obviously, there's a lot at stake. We'll do what we have to do first. What do you think of the work Irola has done? Fantastic work. Coming into the Premier League and doing what he did. Huge credit to him and the coaching staff. They deserve a massive credit for what they've done and how they've done it, which in my opinion, is also very important. Yes, congratulate them because it's a fantastic achievement. What are your memories of the 3-2 game from last season with Bournemouth? I have great memories because it ended in a very beautiful way and was one of the highlights of the season. So, we know we'll have to win it again. It's going to be a very difficult game, so we have to be prepared. How important is the never-say-die attitude at this stage? 
Well, at any stage, but obviously with what's at stake if we win, we know we'll have to win games in different ways. This could be one. Hopefully, tomorrow won't be that, but if it has to be, we'll embrace it. How much are the players enjoying the title race? The energy is very good. We've just had a training session, and the players are really excited, so we'll try our best. You've become the youngest manager to get 100 PL wins. How happy are you with the progress you've made? That's the contribution of many people who have been extremely supportive on this journey and help you win games. Grateful for that, and hopefully, it can bring trophies because that's what we want. Saka said he felt the team learned lessons from last year. Some of them are noticeable, but others are related to what's happening in different games. Last year, against Spurs, we had a very different game, but we managed the situation very well. There's always room for improvement, but I think the team is more mature. The team's health is much better now. All these factors contribute to being in a better position. Declan's excitement felt in early conversations? How coachable has he been? Yes, that's the right word. He was very excited, eyes wide open, ears attentive, very eager to learn and absorb information. And on top of that, he needs to have absorbed a huge amount of responsibility and expectations, and that's sometimes a different bag to carry. He's done it in a very serene and calm way, and that's really impressive because he's a very young player. Before coming to Arsenal, people mentioned his goal record. How much more is yet to come? I think there's a lot more there. We have to put him in more situations for him to explore what he has, he has to recognize situations earlier too, he needs to build that relationship and chemistry he has within that unit he's playing with, something that's still quite raw, especially with the number of changes we've made on the left side this season. So, all of that will contribute to his development, and we hope we can see much more. I know you don't do ifs, but if Party and Timber had played this season, how many more points would you have? Do you have a coin? Flip. I have no idea. We miss them because when you have them around, the team becomes more competitive, has more quality, and more leadership. That's for sure. The players who played in their positions were exceptional. Let's see now, and ask your question in three or six months, when we hope they've played many games, I can be more concrete. If you win, it will be an Arsenal Premier League record for wins. Time to savor the moment? Absolutely. Just focus and put all your energy and focus on finding that determination and that will to earn the right to win games. The first one is Bournemouth at home, and it's going to have an incredible atmosphere. Be present and be in the moment. And let's see what happens. Have you talked to Iriola when results were bad in the first 10 games in the fall and how the team changed so much? Yes, especially after our game. They played very tough games, and that was a big factor, but you could see that the team was close to getting results and causing problems for opponents. Credit to him, he stood by his beliefs. He's a very good coach, a great person, and I've known him since he was very young. Have you spoken? We talked after the game, mainly after our game. When you're in those periods, you don't want to talk to anyone. But we talked a bit there and also about my experiences and what I've been through, and sometimes that helps. Treating tomorrow as important as London derbies? The first thing we did was try to read where the spirit and energy were. They were already talking about it. Bournemouth is even more important now that we have momentum, we have to keep going, and they, the players, know what's at stake. Happy if tomorrow is a boring win rather.